and today's workout is called functional training, which is just a buzzword for doing big moves that incorporate your core muscles, a lot of multiple muscles working at the same time, and training you for things that you would do outside of a classroom, such as bending, picking things up, reaching, twisting, functional daily activities. We'll be using one hand weight, so a lot of asymmetrical unilateral movement, which is great to fire up that core. I'm gonna use one hand weight. You could also use a laundry detergent, a jug full of water, a soup can, a can of mayonnaise, something that's a little heavier. What's great about this workout is start with something maybe a little bit smaller. Try the workout. If it felt easy for you, then next time you do it, go into a heavier weight and see your progression as you get stronger and develop the ability to swing something bigger. Now, make sure you have enough space that you can move side to side, forward and backwards. As I've made my living room my new gym since this uh, quarantine or this social distancing, I miss everybody that I don't see usually at the gym, but this is the next best thing. So I love hearing from you. Let me know what you're looking for as far as classes and I'll develop them and film them. Let's get started with the warm up. Bring your feet together. Pick up the hand weight you're gonna use. I'm using a 10 pounder today and just taking some squats. And just like anything, ease into your workout, warm yourself up well, and as you start the movement, ease into it till you feel warm enough to add bigger moves. Now on the next one, add a little twist and a twist to the other side. Down and twist. You'll be continuously moving. So this isn't an interval class. This is a combination of cardio strength, core, and function. On the next one, slow down. Big circle around the head. Same side. Big circle around the head. And take it one more time. Other direction, circle, warm up the torso. You will be using the torso today as you twist and turn and rotate. Now step out to the right foot down low, bring it up into the shoulder, take it a little faster. Adding a little range, slow it down a little bit, push up a little higher. Now don't feel like you have to follow the beat of the music at any time. If you need to slow it down a little bit to make the move a little bigger, that's perfectly fine. Let's go the other way. Start with the foot and then just into the shoulder a little faster. Foot, shoulder. Now slow it down and take it a little bigger. So you're reaching all the way up as you warm up through the shoulder. Use your legs and then use the center of the body, the pelvis, the abdominals, the back to support the move. One more time. Good. Take it back to the right foot. Swing up like a golf swing. Take it down and then push and swing up. So you're using the pelvis and the legs, the abdominals and the back. Pick up the speed with a little momentum. Now go to the other side and slow it down as you go to the foot. Swing up. Like a golf swing. Swing up. Use your legs. Use your pelvis. Use your abdominals. Add a little bit of speed. Add a little bit of momentum. One more time. Good. Bring the weight back to center. Hold it in a vertical position into some plie squats. Focusing on warming the legs. Now you'll notice each move will go into the next move without a lot of hesitation or delay. As you're continuing the plie squats, place the weight in one hand, then toss it just very gently as it comes up. So it transfers from one hand to the other on the up. 
and I can feel my legs getting warmer. So my moves are getting bigger. On the next one, keep it in your right hand. Go down and up, down and up. So again, mimic something that you would do every day in your life. Picking something up off the ground, adding a little more. We pull, pull. Adding even more from the pull, it comes to the shoulder. You rack it to the shoulder. Now we're starting to build a little cardio heat here. On the next one, push all the way up. All the way up. Four more. Two more. Now this last one, keep your arm up, other arm side, just down. Because asymmetrical work, one-sided, it's gonna work the body different than if it were symmetrical. Four more here, four, three, two. The weight that's up, swing forward. Down, swing up. Down, swing up. Add some momentum and just let it go. to the down and the up. Add a row, elbow pull. So this is combining your weight training with motion. And when you have motion, you have heart rate. Rack the weight to the shoulder. So make sure you're breathing nice and deep. Now on the next set, it goes all the way up. Notice we're going from move to move without stopping. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Now stay up with that arm, just bend and straighten. Take the other arm out to the side to counterbalance you. You'll definitely feel more work on one side than the other. Four more here. Four. Three. Now with the weight that's up, the hand that's up, swing gently forward between your two legs. Lift. Start to add a little bit of swing momentum and speed. Remember to use the muscles of the core through every exercise. Take the weight down, hold with both hands. Swing forward. Swing forward, thrust through the pelvis, push. Now, a little transition. One hand down, one hand up, switch. So it gets to the top, it's a little semi-circle to transition the weight, one hand down, then the other. So it engages the abdominals a little differently as each hand comes up. One more, bring the weights to the chest feet together, squat. Squat, squat, stay low. Push the weight forward, pull it in, stand up, lift up. Weight forward, pull in, push up. Weight forward, push, lift, push. When pushing forward, really push the hips back. Lift, one more. Step back with your right leg, lunge. Left leg, lunge, 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 lunge. Now notice one leg's forward, one leg's back. On the forward leg, you twist. So whichever leg is in front, you twist over the hip. Good, go back to the lunge, stay here. Stay here, stay here. Place it in your right hand, other arm out. On the up, push up, lift, 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 
lift. Good. Four, three, two, one more. Step together as you come in. Just down and up. Down and up. Now step back with your left foot, then come back in. Right foot, alternate, and as you come in, push up. Focus on when your weight comes down into your legs. Down. Good, we're moving now. Take it one more time, left foot back, stay here. Stay here. Place the weight into your left hand. Other arm out for balance. As you come up, push the weight up. Push. 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 Good. Four. Woo. Three. Two. One more. Bring the feet together both ways. Stay here. Stay here. Whew. Now, alternating a squat into a back lunge. So squat right leg back. Left leg. Right leg. Notice I'm coming in soft knees. Soft knees. Slow the move down. Squat, lunge. Do the same leg again. Put it in your right hand. And as you squat, the weight goes down. As you lunge, the weight goes up. Down. Push up. Down. Push up. Down. Push up. Change hands. Change legs. Push up. Reach down. Push up. So I'm going slow here, but still big and deep, keeping the heart rate going. Whew. One more time. Come into your squat, both hands on the weight. Step back with your right leg. Hold. Put your weight into your right hand and your other arm out to the side. Stay low in your lunge and hold. Tipping from the waistline forward, come back up. Now I'm gonna hold my weight like a bicep curl, bringing it up into the shoulder. This move will get more intense. As if you're trying to reach for something on the ground, take the weight lower, pull it up into your shoulder. Take the weight lower, pull it up into your shoulder. Whew. Pull, good. The next one, Adding a reverse fly, so it goes down, open, down, add speed to this, down, fly, down, fly, again, down, fly, down, fly, you got four, four, three, Two more. Feeling that hip, that glute on that front leg. One more. Feet come together. Just squat. Transition the weight into your left hand. Step back with your left foot into a lunge hold. Stay low in your lunge. From the waistline with a slow move. Just tip forward. Pull back up. Tip forward. Pull back up. This movement will get bigger in a second, and it will be evolved into a bigger range of motion. Get all the way to the floor with the weight. Come back in. Get all the way down to the floor. Come back up. Get all the way down. Always use good form. If the weight's too heavy, it compromises form, not worth it. Okay. Down, fly. Down, fly. Down, fly. Down, fly. Again. Down, fly. One more. Woo. Feet together. One hand at a time. Swing into the other hand. These are called suitcase swings. So if you had the handle of your suitcase, you had to swing it up into the overhead bin. Or up onto the security. Whew. Swing it. 
Swing it. Always adding a little bend in the knees like a pendulum. A couple more. Last one, keep it in this hand. Just hold. Step out, step in. Faster, let the weight fall. Let it swing a little in front of your body. So I've got that weight in my opposite hand as my leg that's moving. Adding the lateral raise, pull, pull. Okay, depending on the size of the weight, you may need to go smaller, bigger, faster, or slower. A little change to the move. I reach, pull. I'm still stepping out and in. Gives me a little more heart rate. Whew. Last one. Feet together. Other hand. Just step out, step in. Putting the weight into your left hand. Just let it swing small in front of you. So you're getting a little momentum. Lateral raise on the instep. Pull. Remember, don't worry if you're not on the rhythm of the music or the rhythm of me. The move changes. Reach and row. Still stepping out and in to continue the heart rate. Whew. Last two. Feet together, just swap. Hold the weight at your chest. Make sure you have room on both sides to step out and step back in. Go to the right leg, step out, step in. Other side. Now instead of a squat, lunge. So the inside leg is more straight. It's a little swing, chest. You'll feel like you're circling the chest. Now this may be all you do, but if you're up for a bigger challenge, the circle can go all the way over your head. Feel free to slow down if you need to. So ignore the rhythm of the music. Whew. Last one, stay center. Step wide, toes out. Weight in the right hand. Open up the knees. Keep your weight at your shoulder, other hand out. So with a little more weight on this side, even though I'm doing a plie right in the middle, I feel it more on this side. Now a little change touches the knee or the inside of the thigh. So it engages tummy. You gotta really use your abdominals here. Transition to a concentration curl. Stay at the thigh, stay there. Release the hand. Take a bicep curl up. Keep the arm where it is, but rise. Slow motion one more time. Release us into a concentration curl. Add speed. Touch the inside of your thigh. Down, up. Stand. Lift. Really use the abdominals and back. Again, a lot of functionality to this move. Put it in the other hand, just down and up. Use your other hand for support and balance. Holding the weight as if you're in a bicep curl position. Now the next move, we transition to a little more forward bend. That's all. It's there. Touch the elbow to the inside of your thigh. Woo. You guys are doing great. This is a long cardio set. It adds this weight, which adds intensity. Slow down to the inside of your thigh. Release the arm. Pull back up. Stand up. Do it one more time, slow motion. Good form. Into the thigh. Release the weight. Curl in. Add some speed to the tempo. In. Release, in, pull. Lift, good. Whew. One more. Just down and up, hold both ends of your weight. Now if I hold it at the chest, it's symmetrical. If I put it off to one side, it's asymmetrical. So put it on the right shoulder. Put it to the left shoulder. Legs are moving because that's where it burns heart rate. That's what burns calories. Now, go back to the right shoulder, up and over the top. Left shoulder, up and over the top. Good, keep going here. Four. You guys were so close. Two. Three. 
two more. One more. Set the weight into the chest, hold. You need a little bit of room forward to jump. Not yet, take it slow motion down, set the weight down, reach forward with your arms, engage your back. Pick the weight up, bring it into the chest. Slow motion again. Set the weight, release your hands, reach forward. Hands to the weight. A little faster, down. Reach, while you're doing this move without a jump, check your space. Because in a second when we reach forward, we'll be jumping forward and then jumping back. Keep the legs wide, reach and jump forward. Jump back, pick it up. Here we go, this was a big one. Reach, two more, press, one more, press, stand up, hold, squat. Bring your feet a little closer together. Keep the weight at your chest, right leg crosses back. Touch, curtsy, curtsy. Start with a small move, shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. From here, bigger, over, over, over. From here, bigger, thigh, press, thigh, press. One more, feet together, hold. Okay, with the left leg, cross, touch, cross. Twist, rotate. On the next one, take it over the top. Shoulder, lift. Whew. Bigger, thigh, thigh. Now, step back, slow down. Step up together, go to the other side. So we alternate. Pick up the speed, down. This can be the shoulder, this can be the leg, this can simply cross the chest. One more, bring it to center squat. Final move, but we have to do it on both legs. Put the weight into the right hand. Let it just come down to your side with the opposite leg, the left leg. Step forward and stay there. Whew. With the front leg, push off. And use my other hand for support as you start to roll like a bow and arrow. Hold. Four more, free hand reaches forward. Pull. Pull, last two, feet together, hold. Final move, bow and arrows on the left leg. Then we'll start to bring down the heart rate and stretch. Put this in the left hand, right leg, forward. Drop it. Lift the knee on the front leg, push off, push off, push off. Out of bow and arrow, row, row back. Think about this, you guys. Four more, arm forward, big. One, it's low impact, but explosive. Final move, and hold, good, bring it in. Woo. Put your weight somewhere safely out of the way. And then quickly come back. Take the legs into a wide position, side to side. So we bring the heart rate down gradually. Woo. So many of you are asking, for workouts more than gloves. And I teach almost everything. So throw them at me, give me some ideas of what you're looking for. Hold to the side, reach over, stretch. Reach to a forward diagonal. Open the arm and reach it a little more behind you, opening the chest. So again, I'd love to hear from you. Keeping it positive, bring the hands down, over to the other side. Especially in what we're all dealing with. Just trying to give you some workout since we can't get to the gym. Reach to a forward diagonal. Find a space that's yours. Open it up with a 
except my front room has become my gym. All my equipment's just set off to the side. That way every morning when I wake up, I get to my workouts. Bring the hands forward. One shoulder forward as you press against your leg. I love to hear from my students, whether it's comments on YouTube, Instagram messages, Facebook messages or text. I like to know you're out there. Turn your feet forward, toes, hands to legs, belly button up and round. Push the chin forward and the hips back. Notice your heart rate coming down. And press forward. Pull in and roll all the way up. Roll the shoulders back. Check out Fitness with Jen Allen for more workouts. We've got interval training, a lot of Pilates. Roll the shoulders. Starting to add some weight training in there. And if you don't have weights or equipment, make do with it. If you don't have a BOSU, we're doing a BOSU class, use the floor. If you don't have a ball, sit on the couch. Do what's gonna work for you. If you don't have weights, bring it up, hands together, reach to the side. Round circle to stretch the back around to the other side and lift up, open it up. So I weigh that laundry detergent and it's a small bottle and it's about five pounds and it has a handle so it's perfect for this class. You could use a jug of water and fill it and weigh it. Okay, bring it back in, just stretch out the hands. I hope you felt like today you worked your whole body, got your heart rate going, a little bit of strength, core and cardio. Release, give yourselves a big hand. Guys, thanks so much for coming today and joining me. I hope you can find what you need out of Fitness with Jen Allen's uh, YouTube channel. There's a lot there. More workouts to come, thanks.